everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Run and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, even though the weather forecast and what we've seen recently doesn't show it, we're officially in spring. We are, and I'm officially saying it will stay spring weather somehow. I'm not a weather forecaster, but I'm determined. I wish you would have said that a month ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, and, and speaking of spring, that's what your Real Estate Minute is going to be about, mm -hmm. prepping and everything you need to do at your home for spring. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and show you some listings of things in the area in case you're getting bit by the spring bug and you're thinking, all right, it's time to look for a new home. We've got some options that are definitely going to be attractive. Absolutely, and we have a wide range of options today. So, All right, so the first one let's talk about, it's in Pike County in the Belfry area. Correct. This one is on Cold Fork. If you're familiar with Belfry, you're really close to ARH and mm -hmm. you're off Turkey Creek. So you're in that general vicinity. So you're going to turn off right there just past ARH onto Turkey Creek mm -hmm. and then you're going to go about two miles and you'll take a right turn onto Cold Fork. This house sits about two tenths of a mile up Cold Fork, mm -hmm. um, which is a really nice hollow, a great area. Um, and this house is actually a 1940s built house that they have completely renovated. I absolutely love this listing and I think a lot of it is because there's a lot of people getting into that minimalist lifestyle. Mm -hmm. They're trying to downsize everything and of course all the shows that are popular on cable are about tiny houses and tiny house living. Well this is kind of close to that. It's less than 900 square feet so it is on the smaller end of homes. Mm -hmm. It's a two bedroom one bath but you are walking into a house that's being completely renovated. So it's got the new log siding, a newer metal roof, newer heat pump, new windows, new carpeting and flooring mm -hmm. throughout, a brand new kitchen, which the picture is on there. You can tell it's updated. It's got newer appliances. It's got a mud room off the back that makes it great for coming in because you've got 13 acres. So if you want to go right. hike, you have a, somewhere to take off your boots after you go hike and all that kind of stuff. And there are so many people off the top of my head that I can think of that I know are going to go crazy about this listing. And this is a brand new listing. Mm -hmm. But look at that view. It's sitting on the little knoll, it's sitting on the hill, and then you've got those 13 acres around you. So anything you want to do outdoorsy is going to fit this house. It all fits into one general outdoorsy active lifestyle. Absolutely and the great thing this does have a couple bonuses you do have an unfinished basement under mm -hmm. the house which is great for storage or anything like that and then it also comes with a additional storage building that actually has heating and cooling in it so if somebody needs a workshop or something like that you do have the space detached from the home for that as well. And this one is a brand new listing and it's your listing and the price on this as you said $79.9 is under $80,000 for 13 acres in this home. So, and then right off 119 in the Belfry area, the, the accessibility is great. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's give your Pikeville office number for anybody who wants to give you a call on this. Okay. That number is 606-437-2333. All right. Now the next one is also your listing, but it's closer to actually on the outskirts just barely in the Pikeville city limits on Nightingale Lane. It is. Uh, this is one, if you're going up Cedar Creek in that mm -hmm. area, you're going to take that left on Cedar Hills. You're going to go over the mountain just outside of Cedar Hills and take an immediate ride on Nightingale. And this house is going to be up there on the left. Now this is one I think we've featured before, mm -hmm. but the, the sellers are, are motivated. They have reduced the price. So if this is one you looked at before, but it may have been just a hair out of your price range, maybe time to look at this one again. Absolutely, and this is one, again, you have so many extra amenities. The thing with this one that I think sets it apart is you've got a two-car attached garage, mm -hmm. which, you know, for your cars, your typical everyday cars right. is great. You also have a two-car oversized detached garage. So if you've got a boat, if you've got, you know, four-wheelers or anything mm -hmm. like that, this also has the space to have all of that separated but still kept safe. Well, anybody who would have those kind of things, whether it be an ATV or the side-by-sides, is going to be an outdoorsy person. Well, look at the picture of that deck. Absolutely, and that deck is actually brand new. They just replaced it in August. Um, it's all new, treated wood, and everything has been replaced out there. And then the inside looks so roomy. You've got that the picture of the big open living room, and it's got 2,000 square feet. 
three bedrooms, two bathrooms, so it's a roomy house. And again, uh, you may feel like you're going down into Cedar Creek, but it's still in the city limits mm -hmm. of Pikeville. So you still have everything the city has to offer, but you feel like you're living out in the country. Absolutely. This is your listing uh, at 210000 Again, that's a reduced price. So if you've looked at it before, it may be time to look at that again. Let's give your email address. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right, the next listing is also yours, but let's move into Floyd County. So let's go north on US 23. And this one, actually, you can see from US 23. You can. This is one, if you're familiar with going through Betsy Lane, right there at the Betsy Lane red light, mm -hmm. you've got the bank that sits right there, the dairy bar that sits right there, and you look up on the hill, you'll see the colonial house that sits up on the hill, and that is this listing. You actually have a huge front yard, which mm -hmm. is, is not something, but it allows you to have all that extra privacy. Once you go up Branham Hill, which is the road that the house is located on, you're going to see before you get to this house just a huge open space. That all would belong to the house. Right. And you've got 3,400 square feet, over 3,400 square feet inside the house. So not only do you have all that room on the outside, you've got all the room you need on the inside, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. This house is huge. Absolutely. And then the picture that I like the most is you can see the brick floor. That uh -huh. is the sunroom that is in the backyard. It's got kind of floor to ceiling windows. Perfect oh, wow. for sitting out and enjoying a cup of coffee in the morning or something like that. That room right there is one of my favorite rooms. But it also has a mud room, a, a private dining room, formal living and a family room that's got a gorgeous fireplace in it as well. Like you said, four bedrooms um, upstairs. Right. And then it's got all kinds of extras too. So <laughs> even though it may have been built back in the 70s, they've, they've come in and they've made sure that it has stayed up to date throughout the years. Absolutely. And then of course we have to talk about the uh, pool picture. Absolutely. Because that's going to catch everybody's attention. But you've got an in-ground pool, a separate um, pool building kind of off of it that they've got finished out as garage space and a workout room. Now this is your listing. It was listed for 395000 This is another brand new listing. Mm -hmm. So let's give that Pikeville office number. Okay. That number is 606-437-2333. All right, now the last couple of listings are, are other realtors that you're mm -hmm. going to feature. So we're going to go through these pretty quickly, but let's talk about these next few are Cindy Legg's listings. Yes, and this is a little bit of a unique situation. We're actually going to cover three listings kind of quickly, but they all are adjacent. They can all be sold together or they can all be sold separate. It's the same seller, mm -hmm. but they have multiple properties uh, that are all connected. Correct. And this is going to be up Zeb Branch in the East Point Hager Hill area. Um, so you're not far off US 23 right there. And the first one is going to be 3008 Zeb Branch. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, this is a nice home. It is. And you've got over 1,900 square feet, and this one will come with 43 acres. And a lot of that looks flat and usable. Mm -hmm. It does from the pictures. It looks, and you know how Hager Hill and that mm -hmm. area of Johnson County is, you have a whole lot more usable land than we're used to in Pike County anyway. Right, a lot more rolling hill space mm -hmm. that's all pretty much mowable if you can clear the trees off of it. Absolutely. So definitely has a lot of opportunities. Now the next one, 3002 Zeb Branch, is three bedrooms and one bathroom. It is, and this one sits on 1.8 acres. The house is going to be just under 1,200 square feet, built in 1966, but it does have a lot of new updates. So a new roof, new gas furnace, it's got a new on-demand hot water heater, hardwood mm -hmm. floors, detached garage. So again, a lot of space to look at in this one as well. And then the next one just just up the road at 3012 Zeb Branch. Uh, this one's built in 1992, three bedrooms, three bathrooms. Uh, so this one's got a lot of space too. It does. It's just over 1,800 square feet. It's got a total of two acres and it has a one car garage plus an additional two car garage. So again, a lot of outdoor space. Right, and this one has a nice size yard. This one sits on two acres. And this one again has a lot of the newer updates. New roof on the house. They added the detached garage in 2016. New carpet, new dishwasher. And however you decide if you're looking at this as investment property or you like one or more of these options, the location is great. At East Point, you're right off US 23. You are right off US 23, again, on Zeb Branch, and they all sit right there adjacent. So if you're going to do a drive-by, I think this is going to be an easy one. You can knock off three properties in one pass. Right, and this is something I can honestly see somebody who's been in that position of 
they have multiple families to take care of. Mm -hmm. You can take care of that by buying multiple properties, however it suits suits your need. And you said the seller is going to be flexible on that. Yes, that is my understanding is that any combination, mm -hmm. all, none, whatever you'd want to do. Wow. Well, this one is Cindy Legs listing and this is all out of the Paintsville office. So let's give that Paintsville office number. Okay, that number is 606-789-8119. And all you're going to have to do on this one is reference the Zeb Branch properties and I guarantee they're going to know what you're talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. All right. Now, Jeremy Duncan has the last listing that we're going to feature today, and I absolutely love this listing. You're looking at 40 acres of wilderness. Yes, and that's exactly what he says in his, <laughs> in his write-up. But it is a really unique property. You're in that Yatesville Road area mm -hmm. of Louisa, and if you know that area, it's kind of out by itself. You've got that privacy, and like you said, 40 acres, you've got this Cape Cod home that sits on it, built in 1998, so not a very old home. Three bedrooms, one and a half bath, and again, just look at those pictures. <laughs> right, well, you've got 40 acres, you've got a pond, so, you know, whether or not it's stocked with fish now, you can take care of that once mm -hmm. you purchase this home. Me being an outdoorsy person, I can tell you that area is known for good deer hunting. Um, and not only deer, squirrels. So if you're the outdoorsy type, and we don't know how close this is in proximity to Yatesville Lake, but it has to be fairly close in the fact that it is in Louisa <laughs> and the address is Yatesville Road. Um, like you said, hiking, fishing, boating, hunting, all of that. And then you've got the cabin feel in the woods. Um, so if that strikes you, is that that kind of house that you're going to like this is when you need to call on absolutely and then of course if you're doing all the hiking and hunting and all that you've got a two-car garage to put mm -hmm. all the equipment in plus a two-car carport in addition wow so this is absolutely a nice home so like you said the outdoorsy type lifestyle that person is going to be looking at this and then you've got us 23 that runs throughout all of eastern kentucky right there too so this one's going to be attractive on many levels. Yes, and I think the convenience of it, plus getting that outdoor feel and having that privacy, a very unique property that somebody is going to want to look at. 249000 is the price on this one. Again, it's in Louisa off of Yatesville Road. Jeremy Duncan is the realtor on this, so let's give them a phone number where they can reach Jeremy. Okay, you can call Jeremy in the Paintsville office. That number is 606-789-8119. Again, that's five listings all the way up and down US 23. Mm -hmm. um, but again, always, if it's not exactly what you're looking for, go to rbandw.com. All your listings are there. Of course, you guys are linked to other real estate sites as well. Absolutely. Feel free to look at realtor.com. That goes over everything in the area. Mm -hmm. Just remember, a Red Brown and Williams agent can show you anything that's listed. All right. Now that we're into spring, I think you have some points to make in your real estate minute about how to prep your home and get ready for warmer weather. Absolutely. Hopefully, spring has finally sprung in Eastern Kentucky. And with that in mind, I wanted to share some great ideas that will help you prepare your home to list or help save you some money down the line. First, survey the winter damage. Take the time to walk around your property and home. Take note of the items that look worn by the winter, especially your roof, gutters, exterior paint, and landscaping. Once you have a list, decide what items are DIY and what items you need to hire a professional for. If you're like me, extra time does not come easily. So go ahead and set aside a Saturday on your schedule to get these items out of the way. Don't forget to check your yard equipment to make sure it's ready for the mowing season. All these are exterior ideas to get your home ready to go for spring and summer. But don't forget on the interior to start that spring cleaning. This is a great time to declutter, freshen up, and brighten up your living space. After all this hard work, if you decide to list your property for sale, please don't forget to give Ray Brown and Williams a call. One of our agents will be happy to assist you with the listing or selling process. Thank you for joining us for the Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Show.